and help is on its way to Minnesotans experiencing food insecurities during the pandemic. New just this afternoon, $12 million is being given to food banks and food shelves across the state. And our Uba Ali joins us live in our studio with more. Uva. Yeah, good evening, Tom. It's actually the second wave of funding for those organizations. That's part of a $75 million that the state got for the CARES Act for COVID-19 relief. Officials say that will reach 500,000 people a month, providing approximately 1 million meals. It's an essential need to life. The idea that any of our neighbors would go to bed hungry is simply unacceptable. Since the COVID-19 pandemic hit, food insecurities have gotten worse. We've got one in eight of our neighbors that does not know where their next meal's coming from. This is truly the struggle of folks to just feed their families, put food on the table. Announced Wednesday, help is on its way to all Minnesotans who need it. We're here today to announce uh, $12 million that will go directly into our 300 food shelves and food banks. That money coming from the CARES Act for COVID relief. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan says it's needed now more than ever. Visits to food shelves have increased by 30 percent uh, since the beginning of COVID. Enrollment in SNAP has increased by 40 percent and more than uh, 200,000 families have applied for additional food support. Programs that she relied on growing up and pain she knows firsthand. There would be times when my mom would simply say that she wasn't hungry. As relief comes to people, the work is far from over. We know uh, that COVID-19 will be with us for a while and we will continue to step up, advocate and work in partnership with these really strong partners. Neighbors look out for neighbors in this state and that's what this is about. Part of the funding will continue to provide meals through the school district for kids who receive free or reduced lunch. We'll have a link on where to apply for SNAP benefits on the web version of this story. For now, reporting live in the studio tonight, Uba Ali, KTTC News.